Hi, I'm Tamara Vaughn, and I'm the Education Outreach Coordinator for the Westmont Ridley Tree Museum of Art. Today, I have the privilege of talking about Tom Marioni's A Rose. So Tom Marioni is a really well-known conceptual artist. He's worked in a variety of different media throughout the years. And one of his most well-known works uh, is a conceptual piece called One Second Sculpture. And in it, he took an instrument from a, a metal tape measure and he put it in his hand and he threw it in the air. So as it was in his hand, it was a circle. And then it drew this drawing in the air as it sprung out of his hand. And then it landed flat on the ground in a line. Another really popular series of his is uh, action art, um, where he will create these gestural marks uh, using his whole body as he's running across the floor or jumping or even holding out his arm and doing these circles. Um, so, some of those that he does, he kind of uses his whole body and his arm as a compass to measure the full reach of his arm. And that's what a rose is here. It's a dry point print where he took a dry point tool and inserted it into a piece of bamboo to make it longer. And he had several different copper plates that he marked these lines into. And it was a freehand drawing of this circle. It measured kind of his full diameter of his arm as he did that. And what's interesting is he had these multiple copper plates and he didn't have a set diameter that he was using. He just estimated each one as he held out his arm. And so that meant that they were all just a little bit different. And so each of those copper plates, he put a different uh, color of ink on and then ran them through the press. So you can see all these different colors kind of overlap each other in different ways all throughout the print. So this work is titled A Rose, and it's after Gertrude Stein's uh, 1913 poem, Sacred Emily. And the poem starts, rose is a rose is a rose is a rose. And in Stein's view, this was an example of how just by using a name of an object, it immediately invokes the imagery and the emotion that is associated with that. Things are what they are. And that's what this work is. It is what it is. It's a circle, but the action created is just as much a circle as it is the work itself. What I also love about it is how this circle is imperfect. It's, it's not perfect because he did all of these different circles on top of each other that aren't the same, you know, perfect width and, and diameter. But our minds, because circles are such an essential part of our everyday life, we immediately see this and we recognize it as a circle. We recognize it as this perfect circle, even though it's not quite right. And I think that that's what's really beautiful about this work, how meditative it is as it goes around um, and how it just shows our connection to some, such a simple shape, um, kind of proving its immediacy and necessity in our everyday lives. Mm -hmm.